喺本港訪問嘅前港督彭定康強調，法治係香港嘅基石，而政府嘅管治必須以公民為核心。彭定康出席一个以香港管治为主题嘅论坛，认为法治係香港自由同埋繁榮嘅基石，而自由稳定嘅社会应该以公民为核心。The governance that I've tried to describe has at its, has at its heart the citizen. Citizens are the test of its health and integrity. They have liberties, privileges and responsibilities. Not least the responsibilities of good neighbourliness. He was worried about the common citizen's beliefs being exposed, and he never thought that the incident in the Hong Kong Film Festival. I always believed that the worst thing that could happen to Hong Kong was for it simply to become the richest city in China, and that the worst thing that could happen was for the the real and palpable. Sense of citizenship in Hong Kong, which Anson referred to earlier, might over time be eroded, and I think the fact that that hasn't happened is an extremely good thing. I couldn't have imagined the abduction that took place happening, and I would have certainly found it hard to imagine circumstances in which. There would have been an abduction with so little international outrage expressed about it. Pang Dinghong, in the comment to the Guo Dao, is worried that the Guo Dao will hurt Hong Kong's democracy. I would be very sad if support both outside and inside for democracy was diluted by those who argue for independence, and even though. Hong Kong could owed much of its administration in the past to Scottish officials. I think there's some difference between the Scottish referendum and politics in in Hong Kong. Now, the Chinese University of Hong Kong professor Pang Dinghong stressed the importance of freedom of speech, saying that the university is not a government or a state sponsored institution. He hopes that the student body can maintain the pressure of the government. 无线电视记者龙华如报道。